My name is Juan Leiva, I'm the head of mobile solutions, and today I'm going to talk about all the um, improvements and well, things we have been able to address for doing that the last um, iteration, sorry, during, sorry, during the last sprint. So uh, the most important features for uh, that we, we were able to complete during the last sprint are the global and uh, forum search. As you can see in the screenshots, it looks quite similar to what is done uh, in the web person, although we try to improve the, the user experience and the user interface a bit. So we are using a, a most simplistic approach in a way that we try to keep a consistent um, view of the results. Uh, we also support infinite scrolling. We are not using pagination. And for the filters, we use. We try to uh, make it like optional that I'm not using a lot of space in the screen as well. And we are quite happy with the uh, result. So those functionality, as I said, they are not complete yet. Uh, there are still some a few things that needs to be uh, integrated and also the LMS code is not yet integrated either because we were went into we were uh, waiting for having everything uh, finalized from the app side. Um, next one, please. So Matomo Analytics, this is a uh, uh, very nice one because for our premium and BMA clients, we are going to be able to support. Uh, analytics, uh, not using only uh, Google Analytics. Matomo, Matomo is a tool that is privacy driven and it works pretty well for being an open source. Sorry for saying that <laughs> product is it is quite polished. And, um, and the good thing is that we managed to uh, do an uh, integration that supports segments. So you can easily compare uh, site versus um, app traffic. So you can have uh, a filtering and also you can compare the traffic generated by the site versus the app. So this is quite nice in a way that is going to really allow site admins to just check uh, how to compare really uh, the app usage versus the site usage. That is something that we are usually asked for. And the next one, um, yeah, this is an, another one that uh, it, it is, we, we don't because sometimes, you know, that the app is able to connect to a lot of mural sites, uh, most of the mural sites in, in the world. However, there are a lot of times <clears throat> where sites are not probably configured, they have problems with the certificate, for example, or they have, they have problems connection problems or, you know, I'll, there are a lot of type of uh, problems or issues that could happen. So what we try is to support our users by providing uh, improved connection errors in a way that they can usually take a screenshot and share with their site admin or with us to support them in case they are not able to use a mobile app for their, for their site. Um, so yeah, we work with, uh, also with the UX team uh, for this to make it clear. Well, this component, in, it was all already used in other areas of the mobile application, but we reuse it uh, for this screen as well. Next one, please. Um, yeah, this is something that was uh, already in, in LMS. I think it was included in 4.1 maybe but we were not supporting yet uh, this kind of warning in, in the app so yeah it is for consistency um, it is already supported next one please <laughs> yeah this one is not uh yet integrated but uh fully tested but this again is for consistency uh, to support displaying the, the groups a user is enrolled in a course that was displayed in the user profile for a course in LMS, but it wasn't displayed in, in the app. And now is uh, 
there and consistent with LNS. Next one. Um, also, for some uh, some of our BMA clients, they were requesting to be able to add their own legal dis disclaimer apart from the privacy policy or accessibility st uh, statement. So we are adding more options in, in the app to allow this. Next one. We are also supporting uh, Phone Awesome 6 icons now, and uh, we made it in a, in a way that is going to be able to just display the icons, even if they, well, someone in the HTML code put an icon and they want to use it for push content, we support it as well. Next one. Yeah, this is the um, the quiz timer. Allo allowing the users, the students, sorry, to hide the quiz timer is something that uh, was included also, I think, in LMS 4.1 or 4.2. I don't exactly remember the lesson, sorry, but um, we we wanted to support it also for the mobile application. And we work also with the UX team to have it uh, to work in a consistent but in a very nice way in the in the in the app. 